there's a small indie pattern company called Deer and Doe Patterns, and it appears they've been acquired by another indie pattern company, which I think th I think this is the first time I've really heard of this happening. I could be wrong, but I thought this was fairly interesting, so I wanted to share this with you because I saw this on Instagram this week, and I was like, oh, that's, you know, pretty interesting news. All right, so they put out this announcement on Instagram. It says, goodbye and thank you, the future of deer and doe. And it says, today we have a major announcement to share with our community. The last 10 years of running deer and doe have been incredibly fulfilling, but life is full of changing seasons and the time has come for me and Eleanor. It's like, it looks like it's like these are the two people behind deer and doe. Uh, the time has come for me and Eleanor to write the next chapter of our lives. Well, this is goodbye for us. It is with much excitement that we are announcing the sale of Deer and Doe to our very capable friends and experienced pattern designers, Closet Core Patterns. While designing sewing patterns for a living has been a blessing beyond belief, uh, the time has come for a change. After the roller coaster of last year, it became clear to both of us that we could no longer give D&D the creative and emotional energy it deserved. Our hope was to find a buyer with the resources to continue offering bilingual patterns and support. Closet Core was our first choice and the only company we approached. Not only do they have a consistent track record of publishing high quality sewing patterns, but they are, oh, sewing patterns in both English and French, but they are also a Quebec based company with the infrastructure and expertise to take care of our many French customers. We know they are the perfect candidate for the job and trust them to do it well. Their site is now the only place to purchase a deer and doe patterns, and they plan to release new designs in 2025. Uh, this week, they are migrating your download history to a new account page on their site. You'll get an email when it's ready. To have all questions answered, uh, please head to the blog for a detailed statement and complete frequently asked questions. All right, yeah, let's, we'll, we'll go ahead and check that out. Please know that this is not a sad announcement. Change always comes with exciting possibilities, and we cannot wait to see what the future holds for ourselves and see what Heather and her team will bring to the brand going forward. It has been a privilege to share our creative vision with so many, and we cannot thank you enough for your support over the years. Uh, goodbye, and thank you for 10 amazing years. And you can see they're getting a lot of comments from other uh, pattern companies and fans and whatnot. Now, I'll, in complete disclosure, I, I don't think I've ever purchased one of their patterns. I can't remember if I have. And I don't think I've purchased anything from Closet Core either. So I am not super, like, I, yeah, I'm not super familiar with either of these companies. But I did find it pretty interesting that you're seeing acquisitions within the indie pattern industry. I think that's kind of, I don't know, I, this is the first time I've heard of anything like that. Have you ever heard of anything like that? I don't know. So I saw this. So let's check out what their blog says. All right. So it says, a new era. Deer and Doe is joining the Closet Core Patterns family. Okay. So kind of the same, this is sort of the same thing as they had on their Instagram. So it says, looking ahead, when we first began discussing uh, possible, okay, I don't need to know like the whole story. Okay, Heather Lou. Okay. So it looks like they will continue um, the customer service for the existing patterns. And it looks like they're going to publish new patterns under the brand. I don't know who's designing the new patterns. Romantic, feminine, and timeless designs. Okay, there's also an... Okay, okay. Heather from Closet Core also did a blog. Okay, they got a new employee as a customer service coordinator. Okay, so everything's moving over to the Closet Core website. So if you do have a deer and doe uh, pattern, it looks like that's, that's the deal. Uh, let's see if they have the pattern. Okay, so if you go to the shop thing, it goes straight to the Closet Core uh, website. So this is where you can now find the Closet Core, or the Deer and Doe patterns. So here's some of the patterns. I mean, they're kind of cute. I have not made. Also... 
is it just me or have patterns, indie patterns gotten more expensive? I don't know. Like these are cute. $16 is kind of a lot of money. So this is sort of their main thing. I feel like I've seen some of the patterns before, but I have not purchased any of the patterns before. I don't know if you guys, they're sort of cute. The, that water lily jacket, that looks kind of, that actually looks kind of easy. All right, let's check out this one. All right, guys, and, all right, oh, this is, okay, this is in French. Did I, I think I accidentally clicked on the French one. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I accidentally got it in French, but okay. I actually kind of like that jacket. It looks pretty, looks pretty wearable and it looks kind of forgiving. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, all right, so, and let's take a look at Heather. I want to see this uh, Heather's blog post too. Let's see. Okay, so they think. Okay, and here's a frequently asked question. So if you do have any questions about the patterns, Okay. Oh, it does say prices have increased slightly, so they are more consistent with existing. Okay, so they raise the prices a bit. Existing closet core patterns. Okay. They have standardized Euro and UK pricing. Interesting. Okay. There are no paper patterns for now. All right. That's interesting. But yeah, I have not heard of acquisitions before. You know, I don't know what the dollar figures involved or anything like that, but I do think that's I don't know, I think that's kind of interesting. All right, let me see if I can find Heather. Okay, so here is the blog post from, okay, from Plaza Core Patterns. Let's check this out. So this is welcome, uh, dear and doe to the Plaza Core family. Hold on to your hats, folks. Today's announcement is a big one. We are delighted and excited to announce that the iconic French pattern brand, Deer and Doe, is joining the Plaza Core family. As of today, you'll now be able to shop for Deer and Doe patterns exclusively on our website. Okay, they go into the most. Okay. And I'll be real, like, I, I don't know if I need to know all the backstory about the relationship or anything. Okay, so it looks like the founders of Deer and Doe have had some personal difficulties. Which, again, I can see that would make running a business, a small business, difficult. All right, so... Camille and Ella, again, I don't really know these people, but I did find that. I just saw the announcement of the acquisition. Okay, so it looks like, okay, it looks like Camille's had some pretty serious health issues. I This makes a lot of sense. Again, if you're having some personal, if you're going through some personal issues or medical things, yeah, that might, yeah, I can definitely see, I can definitely see that, uh, Causing some challenges. That's rough, man. That is really rough. Okay. This is Ele so that's Camille. What happened to Eleanor? Okay, they okay, so they published a book. Actually, yeah, some of their patterns are cute. Now I'm kind of interested. Okay, okay, so this here's the thing, and this is something that a lot of people who are self-employed or who have a small business run into is we both went through periods of severe burnout and depression. I, I feel that. I really do. Especially when it's like just you or just you and a partner. Also, I think partnerships can be challenging altogether on a whole other level too. So it says, wow, it is under these circumstances. Okay. I, I, I'm kind of, let's read this. Let's read this. I'm curious. So it says, this, and this is from like years ago. So this post is from two years ago in July of 2022. So they've been doing this for 12 years. So, I mean, that's a really long time. I mean, I've only been a content creator for like six years. So only about half the length. And, you know, I haven't had extreme burnout or, or depression, but there are certainly periods where it's tough for sure. That's pretty rough. Okay, so I can, this is making more sense to me. Okay, uh, so it says, uh, this is written by Eleanor. Camille and I are two perfectionists, and we have consistently, constantly pushed ourselves to provide the most flawless work possible. Uh, this has come at the expense of counting our hours, requiring us to draw ever more from our reserves and arrive at the launch of our patterns totally exhausted. Over time, it became increasingly difficult for us to find the energy to communicate about our daily lives, our work, and of course, our patterns. 
and we gradually lost our voice. There were no personal creations, a lack of behind the scenes updates. All our time was spent and is still spent on the development of patterns and uh, sewing of prototypes collection after collection. All right, so it says, we both went through periods of severe burnout and depression. It is under these circumstances that we both experienced periods of severe burnout. I'm on the autism spectrum and Camille suffers from clinical depression. I appreciate their openness uh, about what they're going through. The combination of our work pace, growing market expectations and pressures of mounting and contradictory demands on social media, that's a big one, pushed us beyond our limits. We both spent weeks in survival mode unable to get out of bed, and Camille was sent to an, oh my gosh, inpatient psychiatric care. Holy crap. Wow, that's a lot. We became sick, exhausted by the rhythm of keeping up. We realized that we could no longer continue. I was not, like, guys, I was not um, expecting this at all. Like, exhausted by the rhythm of keeping up, we realized we could no longer continue on this path without the risk of losing our physical and mental health. Wow, that's, that's pretty rough. Wow. All right, so 2022, not a good time for Eleanor and Camille. Wow. All right, so it says, as we come to a close of wrapping up our first 10 years of business, we are so proud of what we have achieved. We feel grateful to all of you. It says, sometimes it takes a lot of courage to be vulnerable, and we hope this article has spoken to you. We are currently hard at work on the autumn winter collection, which will accompany our 10th anniversary. Wow. That's, yeah, that's, oh, wait, you know what? Sorry, sorry, guys. I realized I was not even sharing that tab. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, guys. All right, so this is the tab. Oh, wait, is this it? Sorry, I think I forgot to, sh guys, sorry. I forgot to share the tab sometimes. Okay, so this is the article about them dealing with severe burnout and depression on the Deer and Doe blog. Sorry, guys, I forgot to share that tab. I mean, that's a lot. And here's the thing, like when you have a small business or you're any sort of influencer or you, you know, or you're like a solo content creator, uh, the pressures on social media are pretty, pretty vast because social media is pretty much a requirement for you to do if you're a content creator or if you're a small business, because that's how you, that's a big part of the marketing and it can be really, it can be very overwhelming and it, it feels like you're on a constant hamster wheel. So I can understand how you could feel a lot of pressure to do constant social media. So yeah, I can definitely, I can definitely relate to some of, some of these, uh, some of their struggles. Now, again, I have not obviously dealt with anything near this level, um, but I can say it's, it's rough. Like being self-employed or having a small business is not, probably not for most people. So I can really understand what these folks are going through. All right, let's go back to the Closet Core blog. All right, so it says, oh wait, sorry. There we go. So, okay. So they had some personal difficulties and they had come to recognize they no longer had the bandwidth to keep sustainably running a uh, deer and doe. You know, that's hard to, like, that's hard to admit. That's hard to, I think, become self-aware about and realize that's happening. All right. After much thought and discussion, they came to the difficult realization that it was time to sell the company. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. Because of my relationship with Camille and our existing structure of bilingual pattern support in both English and French, uh, they thought Closet Core would be the best fit. As a result, we were the only company they approached last November to see if they would be interested. We would be interested in taking over. Uh, selling a business you put your heart and soul into is an incredibly hard decision, and I was gobsmacked, gobsmacked when I received that first email from Camille. Uh, Deer and Doe started the same year as Closet Core, and I've long admired the brand. They embodied the chic French, I cannot, je, je ne sais quoi style that mesmerizes us North Americans. They are known for their excellent instructions and beautiful romantic designs. 
Uh, nobody does special occasion dresses better. I've made D&D patterns over the years and have always looked forward to their collection releases. To be chosen as the steward to take that history and spirit into the future is an incredible honor. Okay. Let's see. And I, yeah, again, I've not bought Closet Core either. Closet Core has grown a lot in the last 10 years. I started this company alone in my apartment in Montreal. Okay, we've grown from just me to a creative, vibrant, and dedicated team of eight, plus six more folks at uh, Core Fabrics. Okay. Okay, so they have a fabric store as well. Since launching the fabric store and a monthly pattern membership called Crew, I've grown a lot as a leader and our team has gotten tighter. Okay, I think that's interesting. You know, and it's cool that, you know, if the folks behind Deer and Doe wanted to exit their business, it looks like the, like they found a really good um, exit strategy in selling what they built and being able to do something else. I don't know. I'm curious to see what they'll do. I wonder what they'll be doing like after this. I don't know. Let's see if it says anything on the other blog post. So, I mean, hey. Yeah, I don't know what they're planning to do next. Um, okay, so here's some frequently asked questions. Okay. A lot of people commenting. Well, here's the thing. So, when they were saying that they had to focus all on the business and weren't able to do a lot of personal projects... That's something I can relate to, to as well. Like, because when you have to produce content or do anything like that, when it becomes, when what you like doing becomes a business, you end up working on all of the business stuff and then you're not really able to do the fun stuff. Like when I'm doing a video about a sewing project, I would say like all in all, probably like 10 to 15% of my time is actually spent making the project. And the other 85% is on, you know, planning out, the production, filming the project, doing like the editing takes longer than the sewing. The editing takes just as long, or if not longer, doing all the social media stuff, doing photos, like doing everything associated with the content production. And that's what really adds so much that adds so much more work onto just making the project. So I d can definitely relate to them saying that, you know, they had to spend all of their time on the business stuff, like putting out new patterns and whatnot. And they weren't able to, they weren't really able to spend a lot of time on what they actually like doing. There's a lot of computer work. I'm sure there's a lot of that, probably emails, doing business negotiations, all that stuff. So, but I do think it's interesting that they sold their company. Like they didn't just shut it down. They sold it to another company that will be able to continue on their legacy um, and let them walk away without having to continue to do the maintenance or like do customer service for all of that stuff. So I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, but what do y'all think? Let's read some comments here. Oh, thank you very much, Vanessa. I've watched a few of your live videos. I enjoy them. Thank you. I hope Closet Core follows their pattern block, a deer and doe draft, especially for a pear shaped body type. Okay, that's kind of me too. So maybe I should check them out, which is not common among the indie pattern companies. I'm probably more like apple or pear shaped. So that actually sounds pretty, that sounds pretty good to me. All right, I've seen higher prices for indie patterns. Yeah, I've seen higher too, but I've just noticed over time, I feel like the prices have kind of crept up with the indie pattern companies. Uh, I've made Closet Core's free t-shirt pattern and really like it. It's a nice all around boxy t-shirt pattern. Y'all have to check them out. Cause I haven't, like I've heard of them, but I, there's, the other thing is that there's so many indie pattern companies now that it's, I feel like it's hard to keep track of all of them. All right. Uh, the big four regular prices are normally between $16 and $25. Indie patterns can have blocks for different cup sizes and video guides. That's true. So here's the thing. I think for me, I find I'm okay with paying more for indie pattern companies if they're providing a lot more than the big four. Like, again, a so long, a complete so long video, um, all, like very detailed instructions. If they can do that, then I would say like, yeah, I'll shell out more money. I'm very cheap though. So it's kind of, it's kind of hard, especially when I have a ton of patterns that I got for like $3, you know, it can be, it can be, 
in comparison, that can look pretty expensive. Uh, Closet Core Cali shirt. Cal shirt is pretty popular. Yeah, exactly. Like, I had no idea. Like, that's that's quite a roller coaster there for sure. Like, I did no, I had no idea. All right, Denise says, wow, I appreciate seeing behind a curtain. As a viewer, I sometimes feel a lot of pressure to keep up reading feeds. Uh, something needs to change on both sides. That's a really good point because, and this is something I want to get into later when we get to the main topic, is that it's like, like everything's going at such a fast pace that it's like, even as content consumers, there's like too much out there. Like we can't, we have a hard time keeping, I have a hard time keeping up with like shows or YouTube channels. And I would be fun. Like, I feel like if collectively there was just less, I think it would be a better pace for consumption. I don't know. So I agree with you. I agree with you here. Let me get some water real quick. See, I did not know that about, I didn't know that about deer and doe patterns, but I do think that's very, very interesting here. All right, oops, I, okay. But yeah, what do you guys think? Are, have you heard, like I've heard of deer and doe patterns, I've just not tried their stuff before. I'm also not French, so I can't, yeah, I definitely can't pronounce the French stuff, that's for sure. That is for sure. <laughs> but I wish them, Camille and uh, Eleanor, I wish you the best. And I really hope that, I really hope that you can find more like balance in your life. It sounds like you need it. It sounds like you guys need a break. And I really hope that you get some time to like regroup and, you know, regroup and kind of be able to like take a, take a slower pace for a while. It's okay. So, and again, I don't know what the, you know, finances are or like any of the terms, but Yes, this is the big news. So the big news is that they were selling the company. So, but pretty interesting though. So, and I imagine Closet Core will also get like all the social media accounts and all of that stuff. So, but yeah, I haven't really tried the patterns before. Now I'm curious though. They are really cute. I don't wear jumpsuits. Like, here's the thing. I don't wear jumpsuits and dresses a lot. So that's where it's kind of hard. Like I, I just don't need a lot of these garments. And I don't particularly like sewing something. This I could maybe see wearing. Okay. That's kind of cute. What is that? The, okay. Eucalyptus dress. Okay. So if it's, if it's like a pear shape, that's kind of my, my thing. So maybe I'll give them a chance, you know, again, maybe I'll give it a, give it a chance. I wonder if they're going to be on the uh, Ditto Pattern Projector, if they're one of the participating uh, indie pattern, you know, uh, indie pattern companies that are participating in, in the Ditto, Ditto, I don't know. All right, so what is that? Orage, Okay. I don't do the square now. The square necklines don't really tend to work for me. That shirt dress is kind of cute, though. Okay, eucalyptus. Yeah, jumpsuits are not for me. I do really like that neckline, the neckline of the eucalyptus, though. So, yeah, maybe I'll try out again. I know they're selling now, but maybe I'll try out some of their patterns now. Okay, the eucalyptus jumpsuit and then the camellia blouse. What's the camellia blouse? Okay, that's okay. I I'm not a huge I'm not huge into the Peter Pan neckline. I like the sleeves though. So some of these are pretty cute. Maybe I'll give them a shot. I don't know. So that is what's going on with uh, Deer and Doe patterns. They are selling the company to Closet Core patterns. So Closet Core patterns will be taking over all of their stuff. Okay, oh, and they also have a French, they, they have a French Instagram. Yeah, I, that, that's definitely not for me here. 